Chapter 1 Interdependence of Plants and Animals We see different kinds of plants around us. Plants are one of the most important factors that make life possible on Earth. They are the main source of food for all living organisms. They produce all the food that humans and animals eat. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat these plant eaters. Food is made in the green parts of a plant. Can you guess which parts of the plant are green? Mostly leaves. Parts of a leaf. Leaf is an important part of a plant. It is the site where food is produced. A leaf has two main parts, a stalk called petiole and an expanded flattened portion called the blade. The tip of the leaf is called apex. A long tube-like structure runs in the middle of the leaf. It is the main vein or the midrib of the leaf. A number of smaller side veins emerge out from the midrib and form a network of smaller veins throughout the blade. Midrib is joined to the stem of the plant through the petiole. This network of veins carries the water and minerals from stem to the leaves and food from leaves to other parts of the plant. There are many tiny openings on the underside of the leaf called stomata. These openings allow water and gases to enter and leave the leaf. Plants breathe through the stomata. Plants also lose water by evaporation through the stomata. This process is called transpiration. Leaf classifications The leaf receives the raw materials that nature provides and it makes food for the plant. Although leaves have similar functions, the leaves of most trees are distinctive. Broadly, leaves can be classified as simple leaves and compound leaves. A simple leaf has a single leaf blade on its stalk. The stalk in turn is attached to a woody twig. When the stalk is removed from the twig, a distinct scar is left on the twig. A compound leaf has more than one leaf blade on a stalk. These multiple leaf blades are called leaflets. The leaflets that make up a single leaf are attached to a single stalk. As with the simple leaf, when that stalk is pulled away from its woody twig, it leaves a scar on the twig. In some trees, leaves occur alternately along the stem. In other trees, leaves are arranged in opposite pairs along the stem. Since both of these arrangements can be found with both simple and compound leaves, there are four possible combinations, simple and alternate, simple and opposite, compound and alternate, and compound and opposite. Leaves as food Leaves are an important and nutritious food for many animals. Herbivorous animals such as cow, goat and giraffe eat leaves. We use edible leaves in cooking, salads and as spice. Every time we eat a leafy vegetable, we are consuming food which the plant has produced using the sun's energy. Photosynthesis Photosynthesis is the process by which leaves capture sunlight and use it to convert carbon dioxide and water into food. It is one of the most crucial life processes on earth. It is not just important for plants which depend on it for their food, but is equally important for human beings and animals. The leaves of a plant act as the primary site where the entire process of photosynthesis occurs. There are some important requirements for photosynthesis to occur. Chlorophyll Chlorophyll is a green-colored pigment found in green parts of a plant, mostly leaves. Plants use it to absorb light energy from the sun. Sunlight has energy. Plants use this energy to make sugars from water and carbon dioxide. 3. Water The roots of a plant absorb water and nutrients from the soil. 4. Carbon dioxide The plant absorbs or takes in carbon dioxide from the air through stomata. How do plants make and store food? Plants use chlorophyll, sunlight, water and carbon dioxide to make food. Chlorophyll captures the energy of the sun. This energy splits the water into hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen is released into the air 
and hydrogen is used with the carbon dioxide to make glucose sugars the sugars are moved from the leaves to the other parts of the plant where they are stored the water in the plant veins carries the sugars when the sugars reach the storage path they get converted into starch plants can store the starch in different paths leaves fruit stem seeds flowers roots interdependence of plants and animals animals and plants are interdependent it means they need each other to survive plants make food and release oxygen for animals animals give out carbon dioxide which is needed by plants for the process of photosynthesis plants that can make their own food are known as primary producers animals need to eat plants to get energy to carry out their life processes living things that get their energy by eating either a plant or an animal are called consumers animals that eat plants are called herbivores examples cow deer rabbit and elephant animals that eat other animals are called carnivores examples tiger lion and fox animals that eat both plants and other animals are called omnivores humans bear and crow are examples of omnivores There are some animals that eat dead animals such animals are called scavengers examples vulture and hyena some very small animals or microorganisms break down the bodies of dead animals into tiny pieces that get mixed with the soil these animals are known as decomposers various types of worms are decomposers food chain A food chain describes how each living thing gets food and how energy is passed from one organism to the next in a habitat. When we draw a food chain, we use an arrow between organisms. The arrows between each item in the chain always point in the direction of energy flow, that is from the food to the feeder. A simple food chain is grass, grasshopper, frog, snake, Many food chains that are interdependent and linked together make up a food web. Large predators, cougar, bears, small predators, foxes, birds, owls, opossums, skunks, plant eaters, primary consumers, deer, rodents, birds, insects, primary producers, a food web.